Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Tushar Aditya Narayan. I'm a senior consultant, uro-oncologist and robotic surgeon at Max Smart Super Speciality Hospital Sake, who are at risk of having this cancer. Aging male are at risk of having this cancer because prostate is present only in males and as the age advances, we are more prone to having this cancer. A strong family history with a history of cancer being present in the father or the brother or a second degree cousin increases your chance of having that prostate cancer in your lifetime. The common signs and symptoms of prostate cancer are frequent urination, a poor urinary stream, getting up multiple times in the night to pass urine, sense of incomplete evacuation when you've passed urine, bleeding in urine, and more advanced stages of this cancer presents with loss of appetite, pain in the back, pain in the bones when the cancer is spread to different parts of the body. When you see your doctor, your doctor will examine your prostate through the rectum, which is known as a digital rectal examination. In this, your doctor feels for any lumps or swellings in the prostate. A simple blood test, which is called the prostate specific antigen test, a PSA test in common language, can be done to know if you are harboring that cancer. If you've had a high PSA, your physician will advise you a biopsy of the prostate because a biopsy is a confirmatory test which confirms whether you have the prostate cancer or not. Post the biopsy, we generally get an MRI imaging done to evaluate the lesion in the prostate and a full body PSMA PET scan done to see if the lesion is anywhere else in the body or not. The surgery that we offer for prostate cancer is robotic radical prostatectomy in which we do not make any big cuts. We make four, four small holes through which the whole surgery is done. This surgery is minimally invasive involves minimal blood loss and the patients stay in the hospital for two to three days. If the disease is more advanced, you might require hormones and radiotherapy. And if the disease has spread to different parts of the body, then you would require systemic lifelong hormone therapy along with second line hormone therapy and bone directed therapies. So this prostate cancer awareness month, this month of September, let's again take a pledge to spread awareness about prostate cancer so that all of us know about the signs and symptoms of prostate cancer. All of us know which tests need to be done to detect prostate cancer and all of us can be treated from this disease and to make sure that not one life is lost because of this prostate cancer. Thank you. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest healthcare updates.